All right, so I guess now Brendan Schaub's assistant is going after Theo Vaughn. Like, Brendan Schaub could use any more drama in his life right now. I guess this guy who works for him and works on the podcast, I think he's got his own podcast on the Thick Boy Network, so good for him. This guy, Mark Harley, who apparently was in the Hunger Games, or sorry, the Hungover Games. The Hunger Games is way too big for him. He was in a spoof movie of the Hunger Games. So it sounds like Brendan Schaub really likes to hang around these D-list actors who are in some really shitty spoof movies because Brian Callen, he was in the 41-year-old virgin who knocked up Sarah Marshall and felt super bad about it but at least he was the star of the movie. This guy, Mark Harley, I don't even think he was a main character in the Hungover Games. So somehow he managed to screw up this really successful acting career he had, and now he's on to the Thick Boy Network, and he's trying to ride Brennan's coattails, and it's not going too well for him. First of all, he spends a lot of time trying to defend Brendan on social media, it's crazy. I think he commented on some of my videos, and also he's made a lot of Instagram comments that have just made Brendan look worse, and now he's going after Theo Vaughn. Like, this probably isn't a good idea. This is Brendan's co-host, and if him and Brendan split up, like if Theo goes against Brendan all of a sudden, that probably wouldn't be very good for Brendan's career, because I'm sure Theo is a big draw for the podcast that they do together and he could just use all the help he can get from these comedians like if he burns a bridge with one of them it's not good like the fact that him and bobby aren't bad terms that's not very good but at least he'll have this guy mark maybe he could do a good job of replacing theo that's probably what he's trying to go for if i were brendan i would definitely make sure to get this guy in line because it sounds like he's a loose cannon i feel like he's only making things worse for brendan like with all the Bobby Lee drama, I think Brendan just wanted to put it to rest. But this guy was going around like commenting how he doesn't believe Kalila and the, her and Bobby are liars. And now, like I said, he's taking shots at Theo, which probably isn't the best move. So let's see what he had to say. This is on Instagram. Somebody commented and they said, hey, protein pony, you shut your mouth and get some water for Theo because I think Theo called him Protein Pony once. And then Mark responded and he said, you simply can't not get your talking points from the subreddit. One original thought and capable, apparently. It sounds like this guy probably pays more attention to the Fighting the Kids subreddit than Brendan, because I mean, I'm sure he's on there commenting and everything on burner accounts. And then he's also talking about it and he's always commenting on people's posts. And this guy, it just seems like he needs to take it easy a little bit. So then this person responded to him again. They said, hey, Mark, I have no idea what you're referring to, brother. I'm speaking of what Theo said on the King and the Sting. Thought you are on the SJOW. And then somebody said, Theo called you protein pony on cats. And then he responded and he said, no shit, dummy. And there's a reason he didn't say it to my face, isn't there? It was also immediately posted to Reddit because you're all obsessed. So it's hilarious that he's acting all tough here, like in some Instagram comments. I'm sure on the show he's probably polite to Theo, and if he's not, I bet he'd just get fired because it's not like he has a lot of weight over there, even though now he's acting like it. He's like, yeah, he wouldn't say that to my face. He would, and I bet you wouldn't do anything about it. And even if he did do something about it, what would happen? Like, he'd get arrested, he would be kicked off the podcast. It's only going to hurt him, and it's going to make him look like an insecure, pathetic person that can't take a joke. I mean, these are comedians joking around. And then somebody commented to him again, and they said, they repeated what he said, there's a reason he didn't say it to my face. Yeah, he has emotional intelligence and can read your insecure teenage mentality on the spot. He didn't want to hurt your fragile feelings. Yeah, exactly. Even though, like I said, I don't think Theo would be scared to say it to him, because what is he really going to do? I mean, he can't hit him or anything like that. He would ruin his career. So, I don't know. Let's see what else he said. He commented to this again, and he said, or, or perhaps one of us suffers from well-documented mental illness. One of us outweighs the other by 70 pounds. So now I guess he's referring to Theo having a mental illness. Like, this is not a good look, dude. You are only going to make more enemies for yourself and for Brendan with this, and you already have enough. Like, I'm sure Theo fans are upset about this. And it's all just because this guy's insecure and he can't take a joke. And now he's acting like a tough guy. See, him and Brian Callen are very similar. 
They're both in these spoof movies that are terrible. They're both friends with Brendan Schaub, and they both like to act like tough guys, apparently. And this whole tough guy persona is going to hurt Brendan because now he's pissing off Theo fans. Like, he already pissed off Bobby Lee fans when Brian called Bobby Lee up and threatened him. And now this guy, Mark, is attacking Theo. Now he's going to piss off Theo fans. Like, what is going on here? Brendan's really got to get these two under control before things get even worse. I wonder if this guy, Mark, is part of this team that Brendan keeps talking about that, like, searches the fighter and the kids subreddit to find illegal activities or whatever he's claiming. Because it sounds like he spends a lot of time on that subreddit. And now things are probably going to only get worse for him because now people are making fun of him a lot on there. I'm sure before they were already making fun of him, but it's only going to get worse because now he's got Theo fans after him as well and Bobby Lee fans. But I guess this could be possibly good for Brendan if it takes the attention away from him. And maybe people are like, hey, this guy, Mark, like he's even worse than Brendan. Like, let's continue to go after him. But I don't know. I mean, I really don't even know Brendan's relationship with this guy that well. I don't even know what he really does on the podcast. Like I said, I think he has his own podcast on the Thick Boy Network. Like, I, I looked him up, and I saw he just posted a podcast on there where apparently he's just talking about the fight and the kids subreddit. That might be interesting. I need to check that out. And then also he had some video up about his haters. He's talking about the haters, I guess. So it sounds like this is the guy that just addresses all Brendan Schaub's hate. Like, Brendan says he ignores it. He doesn't go on social media. This guy sounds like he's the exact opposite. He can't get away from it. He just wants to argue with everyone. He wants to try to defend Brendan, which... I mean, you got to realize it's only backfiring. <laughs> like every time he tries to defend Brendan, it's probably only going to make things worse for him. Even though, like I said, it could take the attention away from him. But if it's going to like hurt his relationship with Theo and if it hurts his relationship with Bobby even more in the end, it's probably not going to be the best result. Like I'm sure he'd rather have Theo and Bobby on his team than this guy Mark. So I'm sure Brendan will tell him to chill, maybe, if he even knows he's up to this stuff. Because if Brendan doesn't go on social media and this is his social media guy, then maybe he won't even be aware of it. Even though I'm sure hopefully Theo is aware of it and he could tell Brendan like, hey, you should tell this guy to chill out a little bit because he's not making it any better for you. Brendan needs all the support he can get at this point. And if he's only starts to lose people like Theo, who is really important because people actually take him seriously as a comedian, if he starts to lose people like that, then it's not going in a good direction. So I guess it'll be interesting to see if this guy continues to go off on social media because it's only making things better or worse, I guess. It's making things better for me as like somebody who likes the drama, but it's making things worse for Brendan and his whole squad. So... I don't know if he likes this kind of behavior, but we'll have to wait and see. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you at the next video.